Prepare to post colors. sometimes you're going to get mad, but turn around and listen to your mentor and carry it out, you will succeed, even though 
you get a lot of negativism, but that positive part is what helps. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate you in believing in me. She's not running against me. One of our top priorities 
legislative priorities is holding predatory claim shards accountable. During a special meeting of the National Executive Committee held in December, the American Legion overwhelmingly passed a resolution calling for the criminal prosecution of unaccredited companies who file claims on behalf of veterans. By avoiding the VA's accreditation process, these firms are breaking the law and are often charging veterans exorbitant fees to do their work. American Legion service officers do an outstanding job in performing these services free of charge. There are some ethical firms that we don't take issue with. They have been vetted and accredited by the VA and don't exploit veterans by charging unreasonable fees. The American Legion is calling on Congress to pass the Guard VA Benefits Act, which would crack down on bad actors. We can all make a difference by visiting our grassroots action center. That's legion.org slash action. On that webpage, you will find the Legion legislative priorities and you can send daily messages to your congressional delegations. The email messages are pre printed, so it's never been easier to get our issues before your representatives and senators. You can even do it from your phones. That's legion.org slash action. You can send those messages every day, once a day. This is just another way to show the strength of the American Legion family and remind members of Congress that veterans need to be their priority as well. A larger American Legion family is a stronger American Legion family. Growth is essential. Membership is the lifeblood of our organization. This is why the National Commander has set a goal to recruit 78,000 new traditional members this year. We exceeded last year's goal of 75,000 new traditional members, which is why the bar has been raised. It's perfectly achievable. Here in the Department of Florida, you have proven that fact. I'm going to talk just a few minutes about membership. And I'm so very proud to be able to say that Florida is one of my departments in my jurisdiction. They have done a great job this year. I want to start out by saying that Florida is a 100% family, the Legion, the Auxiliary. <laughs> the Sons of the American Legion and Riders Chapter are all 100% membership, and you, you give yourselves another big hand. You <laughs> Through the leadership of Commander Raymond, Bruce Carl, who is the membership chairman, Judith Richards, who is the revitalization, public revitalization chairman. I've had the opportunity to work with them this year. They have done a tremendous job, and that's why you're at 101 point, almost 102 percent commander. You're going to get there. Just keep working. I know you are. Your division, your area, and your district commanders have done their job. There are a couple of people I'm going to take a personal privilege of recognizing. I hope they're here. If they're here, I'd like for them to stand because there's <clears throat> these different commanders that won the race to the top awards on the national level this year. First place winner is Stuart Scott. Stuart. <laughs> Take advantage 
of these funds. You can only do that if your dues are up to date. So make sure that your dues are up to date. <coughs> Veterans and Children's Foundation is the program that our national commander has chosen as his preferred program for this year due to its positive impact on our families. Your donations to provide temporary financial assistance for needy children. These grants do not need to be paid back and make a big difference for military and veterans' families that are struggling. We know that the, uh, the lower enlisted families of our military today are being paid on a poverty level. So these, these funds really help those families. It's easy to donate to support that group. We're calling on all posts to submit a consolidated post report, which is our annual reporting acti <coughs> form, reporting activities and achievements. Department officers and national officers are not the only people who should be aware of what you do. The CPR is your chance to tell the story about your post and your members. We deliver the data <coughs> to Congress and it becomes part of our historical record. You can also share CPR findings with your city, county, and state officials. I know that I can count on the Department of Florida to achieve a 100% CPR submission rate because you're leading the nation at this point in time at over 85%. And that's, that's <laughs> this department has posts that excel at each of our four pillars. These stories deserve to be told. By telling these stories and welcoming all veterans into our family, we can be more effective advocates for our communities. We can change lives. We can continue to save lives. In closing, I just want to thank each and everybody from the Department of Florida, from the leadership up here, to the Blue Cap Legionnaires for making me and my wife, Ann, so welcome for the last three or four days. It's been a pleasure to be here. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless America.